Hi, it's Mr. Wassman, and today what we're going to do is we're going to discuss how to extend division facts. What you see here is a fact family triangle that involves multiplication and division. Multiplication and division are uh, reflections of one another, or they are interrelated. So for every fact family, you can have a total of two multiplication problems and two division problems. So I chose the facts 5 times 7 gives us 35, so the reverse, 7 times 5 is 35. 35 divided into 7 groups would give us 5 in each group, and 35 divided into 5 groups would give us 7 in each group. So when I extend a multiplication fact, all I do is I add a 0 to one of the factors, or multiply that factor by 10. So let's say, for example, I multiply 5 times 10. That's going to give me a new factor of 50. By doing so, I have to add a zero or multiply my answer, the product, by 10 as well. So if it's 5 tens times 7, I'm going to get a total of 35 tens, otherwise known as 350. And the reverse would be true. If I add 70, 7 tens times 5, 7 tens times 5 would also give me 350. Now, in terms of division, the same applies. So if I have 50 in a group, and there are seven groups, my starting number has to have a zero behind it, too. So in other words, I'm looking to see if I balance out my equation with zeros. So I can divide 350 into five groups, and I would have 70. So all I've done is I've added a zero to one of the factors, and by doing so, I have to add a zero to the product. Or, in other words, if in a division problem, I start out with my dividend, I divide it with my divisor, and then my quotient, or my division answer, has to have the same number of zeros that I started with, with this number here, the dividend. Now, I can extend that fact further by adding another zero. So let's say it's not 350, but 3,500. So if there are two zeros here at the top, I have to have two zeros somewhere at the bottom. Now, I can distribute those zeros one of three ways. I can add a second zero to five, making this 500. So 3,500 divided by seven gives me quotient of 500, or I can put both zeros behind the 7, making that 700, so my new problem would be 3,500 or 3,500 divided by 5 would give me 700 in each group. Two zeros on this side, two zeros on that side. Or what I can do is I can split the difference. I can put a zero behind each of my factors with the numbers at the bottom of my fact family triangle. So then I would have 3,500 divided by 50 that would give me a quotient or answer of 70. 3,500 divided into 50 groups would give me 70 in each group. So the thing that you need to remember with fact families is that the number of zeros behind the number at the top has to equal the number of zeros somewhere between the two numbers on the bottom. Thank you for listening.